Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. Today, we are talking about the Halloween Tree movie, uh, but first, a word from our sponsor. A Gathering on the Mountain is a short story by Cindy O'Quinn. The story can be found in The Bad Book, edited by John F.D. Taff, and published by Bleeding Edge Books. Cindy's story is about Hobeth Freeborn, a girl born and raised in the mountains of West Virginia. She was left with an Appalachian granny to learn the old ways of surviving. One of the things learned is what actually goes on during a gathering. Thank you so much to Cindy O'Quinn for sponsoring this video. Now on with the review. Okay, so the Halloween tree movie based on the animated movie, well it's the only one in existence I believe, uh, based on the book by Ray Bradbury. He also, uh, I believe, produced and wrote um, this movie. Uh, he also does narration for this movie that is so, so good. Uh, for those of you interested in the TR, TLDW, Too Long Didn't Watch, I absolutely love this movie. There's so much nostalgia. Um, the the animation and the artwork is absolutely fantastic, especially especially the opening sequences of the movie. Uh, huge fan of all of the artwork, uh, the depiction of the Halloween tree itself, the clouds, just everything is fantastic. It is done by the same studio that did Scooby Doo and I believe the Flintstones. I'm only laughing because it looks more like Scooby Doo than it does the Flintstones, but it's Hanna Barbera Productions. Um, Mario Peluso, I believe, is the name of the director. This is an absolutely fantastic adaptation. Um, I I am conflicted about one choice that they made uh, to change, and it probably has to do with the time frame that it came out. In the book, all of the kids, I think there's six or seven of them, maybe including or maybe not including Pipkin, um, every, every single one of them are boys. I appreciate that they changed one of the characters to a girl for the show and cut out a lot of the characters. I don't appreciate that, but they cut out a lot of the characters, um, cut them in half, I believe, because there's only four kids in this one. But where I'm conflicted is, is they changed the boy who dresses as a witch to a girl who dresses as the, as the witch. I'm perfectly fine with the inclusion of a female character, but why can't a boy be a witch? I, I can only imagine that's more the reason why they changed it back then uh, because people didn't want to explain to their kids or they didn't want their boys dressing up as witches. I don't know. Um, this, this movie holds so much uh, nostalgia for me, so I might be a little bit biased. Um, another thing that I'll add is the, 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 the book is, to me... Uh, what a Christmas Carol is to Christmas. It just it catches all the right vibes. On top of that, it is super educational. They go to Egypt. They go to they go to the uh, witch trials. They go to the uh, well, not really rich witch trials, but how witches were treated back in the day. Um, and they they go to Mexico. They go all over the place, and it teaches a lot about the history of Halloween and how different cultures respect the holiday or what they do for the holiday. I, I learned so much about Halloween just by reading the book and the, the show captures all the aspects that I loved about the book. Now it is it is free on Tubi if you want to watch it. We just got through live streaming me watching it on Sunday. Unfortunately the, the internet dropped out in the last 10 minutes. Um, but the ending is very special. I feel, um, especially because it deals with friendship and what, what you're willing to do for people um, that you consider, uh, that you love, you know, the things that you're willing to do. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but the ending of the book and, and the movie is super, super great. Um, this is, uh, but it is in four by three. I was getting to that point. Um, so if you're one of those people who can only stand to watch things in widescreen. It is in, you know, like old television ratio. Um, there's not too much else to say about this, but I highly recommend it, especially since it is free on Tubi. You don't even need an account. You can just click skip and go directly to the movie to watch it. Um, it does have ads, but it's whatever. YouTube has ads. Um, but it, 
I would love to hear from you guys, especially people who who liked it. You know, what what did you like about it? Are you the same as me? Does it give you that that autumnal fall feeling? Does it get you ready for Halloween? Because we we tend to try and read the book every single year. The kids have kind of grown tired of it, so we've switched over to the movie and the audio book. Uh, but I used to read it to them, you know, when they were little, uh, and I always end up reading it. I don't want to do another review. I've already done one review on the channel, but um, I always read it this time of year. It's very quick. It's poetic. Um, the prose, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous to read. Um, I, one criticism I do hear a lot is that it's a, it's a little too simple for some people, and I think that's just because, you know, the poetic nature of it. Um, also, people want, uh, especially horror fans, want a little more, you know, scary, a little more horror, that kind of thing. But if you're looking for something to watch with your kids this Halloween season, if you're looking for something to take you back to your own childhood, I highly recommend The Halloween Tree. Um, but have you watched the movie uh, version especially? Uh, did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you feel meh, meh about it? If you felt any of those things, let me know down there in the comments below. But please, if if you especially love this movie, tell me what you love about it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!